ゲー。Right, what is happening, guys? I'm jumping up to with yeah some melee weapon unlocking. Now there are three new melee weapons to unlock. One being the nail knife, which you are required to get 50 kills with the shovel to unlock. One is the cogwheel club. You need to get 50 kills with the club. And the third is the fleur, it's like a small dagger. I think I pronounced that correctly. You need to get 50 kills with the trench knife. But in this video, we are going to be focusing on the shovel. And also what I'm going to be showing you, or talking to you about, is how to flank successfully. Because 50 kills with a melee weapon is quite a big task. Now, my first tip is to not run at the first person you see. If you know there's going to be more coming, do not run at the first person you see. Because you're more than likely going to be seen by someone else. So, how do you get away with that? Basically, stick to the edge of the map. Um, you could use this technique here. Sort of like pop in and out. Back in your cave and wait for the next target. But this isn't as effective because... Someone could just be running behind this guy now and I'll be killed straight away. So it's not quite a flank and it's not really the best technique to use, but it works for me for a few kills. So as you can see from the first clip, that was a successful flank. I ended up getting five. And this is another flank, which was kind of successful. Like I said, try not to chase people. Like this guy, I gave up on him because otherwise I was going to go into the line of sight of the snipers that were further over that way and you don't want to waste your flank because like I said the whole point is to not be seen so here we were losing I did kind of sit back and wait for the enemy team to all push up and how you doing three shovels in a row and it's not over there so yeah, that was quite successful. I had, I had some good flanks on this map. Uh, I think it's called Rupture. Front lines was definitely the best way of doing it. Definitely, because the maps are made very narrow and everyone's kind of forced down one narrow path. So everyone's forced into one small area. It's not like Conquest where you've got the whole massive map. That would probably take you forever to do it on Conquest. So front lines, if you have a look at the map when you start when you start a game, it is so narrow. It is like a third of an operation basically. So very successful. Front lines is what I would recommend to do it on. Now the bonus with front lines is you've got the opportunity to plant bombs as well. So planting a bomb and then waiting for the enemies to come. It worked, worked quite successfully as well. So and I've even opened that window for them, so I've invited them in for free. So yeah, at this point I was on like it's 33 out of 50, I was just wanting to get it done. I'd kind of had enough by now. I was just hoping that it would be over soon. <laughs> but every time I checked there was still so more to go, so many more to go. So yeah, as you can see there, I knew these two players were there, but I was checking my like the line of view first before I ran into it. But obviously, if you can see that you're going to get at least two, always make sure you're not going to get shot from behind. If you can get two kills per flank, then I will call that a successful flank. So yeah, don't get caught, don't get seen. That's all I can say. Try and be quiet. Take people out if you have to with your gun. Don't just think, oh, I need this one melee kill because not taking someone out with your gun and trying to get the melee kill could potentially ruin two or three melee kills sneaking up on people. 
So yeah, that was my 50th shovel kill. And yeah, it did take quite a while, I must say. It must have taken at least four or five games. And here it is, the nail knife. Pretty brutal weapon. It's just pretty, it's just a piece of metal bent into a, a handle and a knife. So yeah, quite a savage weapon. Very cheap to make, I should imagine, as well. God, get stabbed in the heart. Don't know where that other guy went. But here we are with a nice animation that this gives as well, this melee weapon. Stab in the back and punch in the face. You can't beat a punch in the face. That is a pretty cool animation. So here I am again, sneaky ninja. Sneaking up. Always watch your back. Always check you're not going to be seen. Ah, one last tip that I haven't mentioned is to take your bayonet off. Definitely take your bayonet off. Because when you're running at someone, you want to stab them straight away. You don't want to run at them and then have to stop because you're going to bayonet charge them instead. So make sure you take your bayonet off. I made that mistake at the beginning of this. And yeah, if you do follow everything I've just said, you will do it in no time. I promise you. So yeah, I'd like to say thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you next time. If this has helped you, please give it a thumbs up and yeah, see ya.